For 37 years, the Playboy Jazz Festival has attracted crowds from around the world. Playboy has had a huge impact on jazz music. The new book, Playboy Swings, how Hugh Hefner and Playboy changed the face of music, reveals how Hugh Hefner helped introduce jazz to a mainstream audience. The author, Patty Farmer, joins us this morning. It's good Welcome, to see good you. Good to see you. Hi, thank you for having mm -hmm. me. So Playboy starts gets started in the 50s, and that's, I guess, kind of the pinnacle for, for jazz music at that time. Do you, and you say, I think you assert that, that, uh, that Playboy may have been responsible for that in some ways. Well, I think they helped contribute to uh, furthering the popularity of jazz, definitely. You know, Hef loved jazz. Mm -hmm. And starting with that first issue of Playboy, he included it. You know, he could have had an article about anybody in the magazine, and he showcased the Dorsey Brothers. Mm -hmm. There are, have been so many artists and performers who have come through the Jazz Festival. Who did you speak to or interview for this book? Oh my gosh, I, I can't begin to list them all, but uh, some of the ones that stand out, Al Jarreau, mm -hmm. Sonny Rollins, uh, Monty Alexander, Ramsey Lewis, uh, Dee Dee Bridgewater, just, just to name a tiny, tiny few. How did the festivals get started? Well, Hef wanted a way to celebrate the fifth anniversary of the magazine, mm -hmm. and he was thinking of a party and started making a list of... He loves his parties, yeah, he's, doesn't he? He's he does. had a few parties. <laughs> he loves his parties. <laughs> With lots but, of bunnies. <laughs> well, I don't think any bunnies were at this okay. one. Okay. But the party, you know, just grew and grew to a three-day celebration and the first Playboy Jazz Festival. And everybody on their wish list was there. Ella Fitzgerald, mm -hmm. Duke Ellington, on and on. Everybody they asked came, with the exception of Frank Sinatra, and he was making a movie. Was this your idea to come up with this book, or was it both you and Hef working together? Um, it was my idea. It's mm -hmm. kind of my niche is entertainment history. You know, I love researching and archiving and just digging into the history of entertainment. And I was surprised to find out how impactful Playboy was in the entertainment field. Mm -hmm. uh, for almost 20 years, they were the largest employers of entertainment in the country. Mm -hmm. So I thought my readers would be interested also. Playboy has decided to move into a different direction recently in the news. It, it, it's an announced that it would not publish nude photos. Um, what's your reaction to that? Well, who saw that coming? Yeah. You know, yeah. I did. I, I mean, I think a lot of us were shocked about that. Really surprised. But, you know, Hef's amazing success has mm -hmm. always been his forward thinking. So perhaps this bold move will just bring it full circle back to a, a great magazine with good good writing and showcasing music and entertainment. Well, we'll see. That's going to be yeah. interesting to see how that plays Thank out. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming by. Playboy Swings, how Hugh Hefner and Playboy changed the face of music is available now. Thank you, Patty. We appreciate that. Yeah.